Good morning, everybody. This is Terry or Truth, whichever you prefer, depending on where you've met me. And uh, today I just want to do a special call. I'd like to make these a regular occurrence. Um, and today will be the first. It's time for us to begin finding gratitude again. There are some very large changes going on in, uh, on our planet with the, uh, the total global aspect. Uh, things are needing to come together and meaning that we need to relieve the separation. So I'm coming to you today from actually the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas. And uh, I threw, I'm going to assume, my, my relationship with Attitude of Gratitude, to be a little cheesy, somehow got bumped up to a penthouse suite <laughs> from a regular room. And uh, these are the things that happen when we truly find gratitude and blessings in even the smallest of things, uh, our lives become very blessed. And uh, I am a living representation of that. This is one uh, minor, really minor thing uh, that has happened in my life to really, really show what Blessings can come to a person. I have been incredibly blessed in my life. And experiences and its people and its places and its messages. And I live a very rare life. And I am incredibly blessed with the mystical journey that I'm on. And that I sometimes forget to share. And uh, so this is, this is me trying to remember to share some of these wonderful experiences. I'm in Las Vegas, not because I'm here to gamble or see shows or whatever it is people come here to do, but the last two months uh, I have been called here for one or two nights a month to do some very, very deep spiritual work for the planet. And uh, last night, there was, I, I'm going to call it a stargate opening. Some people, that's a little far out for, and some people it's completely normal. But there was a massive global opening of many stargates last night in order to assist the light to come in, a higher source of light than we're used to. And it was to come in and help us clear the darkness that's no longer desired here on this planet by the majority of us. And so the way that you as a person can help, whether you're a light worker or just an uh, average everyday person in your opinion, um, is finding gratitude. This is the message that I've been given uh, by the light beings that I was working with all night last night. And they simply ask that we find the blessings and find the gratitude and allow these to be amplified and that we tune into only that which brings forth this feeling of blessings, of gratitude. So, for instance, the media is full of things that bring forth darkness, that bring forth uh, stressful feelings or tense feelings or despondent, uh, staying away from movies, TV shows, even newscasts at this point um, is very important in order to uh, keep that feeling of blessing alive, keep that lighthearted feeling alive. And so gravitating towards the things that bring out that feeling of being blessed. Uh, laughter. You know, it doesn't have to be serious, oh, I'm so blessed and holier than thou, and 
you know, bowing to the, the powers that be, or it can simply be I'm, I'm very blessed to be reading this book that makes me smile, you know, or listening to this podcast that makes me smile. And so bringing back the lightheartedness and the, the happy to planet Earth, a joy-based life, this is what we need to amplify upon the planet. And it does matter what you watch, what you listen to, what you say, what you think, what you allow yourself to bring into your everyday life. So as I sit here in my <laughs> just I cannot even begin to describe the beauty of the place that I'm sitting in right now. Uh, 31 floors above the chaos of Las Vegas and working with beautiful, beautiful light beings from very far away who are here to assist us. They are here to assist us. If we would just open up and accept their help. We just have to do our part. This is their request as well as my own to bring the joy back to life on planet Earth, bring simplicity back. Because in many cases, the reason that things become less joyful is because we allow them to become very complicated. We allow our lives to become very complicated. And one of the secrets to a joyful life is to just simplify things. So with that, I'd like to uh, I'll probably post some pictures of the garden. Well, it's a sort of a pool, there are many pools and trees, and it's just beautiful what I'm overlooking. As we're, uh, as we're having this conversation today. And uh, with that, I think I'd like to do a little bit of a meditation that hopefully you will be able to uh, download or keep for yourself in some way and, and do it whenever you like. You know, obviously not while operating heavy machinery. But... Uh, if you would just get comfy and allow for a little bit of relaxation time for yourself. I don't know exactly how long it'll run because I'm simply doing it as I'm guided. Uh, but we'll, once it's done, I'll put the time frame so you can plan for being relaxed for that long. Okay. And uh, if you would just Take some deep breaths and feel that energy of light and love, of blessings and joy moving all the way through your core, all the way down to the bottom of your torso, through your legs, down through your feet. Breathing in and allowing that energy to move all the way down into Mother Earth and sharing with her these blessings and joy. And as you breathe out, allowing anything that might even be a whisper of something that no longer serves you to move out. Breathing in and releasing anything that is dark or shadowy that doesn't necessarily need to be worked on but can just be released. Whether it's yours or thoughts or feelings for other people that you've been holding on to allowing it to just move out 
like a beautiful wisp in the wind. And breathing in that beautiful light, you may see it as golden or white or violet. Refilling all these spaces within you with a, a powerful infusion of joy, a powerful infusion of gratitude and blessing. If you're listening to this, that means that a part of you is longing for a happier life, for a happier earth, for a happier bunch of loved ones in your life. And so with this meditation, we breathe in that light. And as we breathe out, we find there's less and less that's needing to be released from us and more and more light to share with the world. And so as you breathe out, allow that light now to expand around you. You can even see it as a beautiful breath of light and energy and love that you send around the world. Send to the places you go the people that you know. Sending it out for all who desire more joy in their life. Who are willing to release and let go of old patterns that hold them back. And we simply add love and light to the energy of planet Earth and beyond so that it's accessible for anyone who might desire to make these changes, no matter what their situation or where they are. And we call in those beautiful ascended beings, whatever words you use to identify them, whether it's angels or light beings or star beings or ascended beings or whatever you're comfortable with, God, universe, the highest, highest vibration that you can imagine. And we invite that and all that it works with above it to come in close close to the earth and into our environment to lighten and brighten, to bring in new, healthy, fresh energy. And we spread this energy throughout our environment far and wide. We invite these light beings that have chosen to assist us on our path to amplify the highest vibration, the vibration that is for the highest and greatest good in a healthy and joyful manner, bringing love, unconditional, fulfilling, and blessed love to our planet. And we see it moving all around the earth, all throughout the atmosphere, miles and miles and miles above the land, moving through all of the water, all of the water molecules, whether it's humidity or water through plants or in the plumbing or in the people, the cells of the people, all of the water being filled and recharged with loving, joyful blessings. And we see now, all the way through planet Earth, all the way down to the core and within. And we see unconditional love and gratitude being shared with Mother Earth, 
all the way down to the heart of her. And we send this love with the gratitude of everything that she brings to us. The beauty of the water, the beauty of the trees, the desert, the mountains, the animals, all of the joy that Mother Earth brings to us, we feel within our heart as she sends it out to us and we breathe it in and as we exhale, we send it back, amplified, back to her, letting her know for this moment at least how much it is appreciated. The balance of nature is a beautiful thing. And finding our gratitude for her, her Mother Earth, and the manner in which she somehow keeps her system going despite the chaos that may occur upon her. We just send gratitude and blessings and unconditional love back to assist her in healing and in continuing her beautiful mission in just being herself, no matter what comes her way. And we realize that we are a part of Mother Earth. Our physical being is made up of all of the same things. And so now we turn this gratitude and this feeling of being blessed and joy to our own hearts. And we feel our hearts expand with the love that we're sending. And we become a little more understanding of ourselves and compassionate with ourselves as we breathe in deeply and breathe out any tension. Take a few breaths and just bring this gratitude and joy and unconditional love to the heart of you and exhaling any tension or confusion Allow it to exhale out and just be taken away. See it fly away like a bunch of butterflies up into the heavens. To be healed. And breathing in more of that beautiful light assisted by those wonderfully, wonderfully blessed light beings that are working with us. And we ask them to come in close to us and work with healing our own energy because we are each individually a representative of the collective and a representative of Mother Earth. We are all made of the same thing. So we bring healing to ourselves. And if you're so inclined, we can See that healing happening within anyone else who desires it or a particular group of people, but bringing in strictly joyful, unconditional love to ourselves and anyone we choose to share that with. This can be people animals, anything that you might desire. Allowing more and more healing and more and more gratitude to find its way to planet Earth. And as we breathe in and out, 
we think of all of the things that we're grateful for in our lives, whether it's something that's happening right now or something that's coming in the future or has happened in the past, finding all of the things that we are truly grateful for and seeing them almost like little notes coming back into our heart and back into ourselves and reminding ourselves of how joyful and blessed we are. Breathing deeply and exhaling joyfully. We feel this gratitude. We feel these blessings moving through us. We feel them filling up our our auric field. So a bubble about two to three feet around us. We see these beautiful blessings swimming around like little goldfish. Bringing more and more activity to our energy. So that what we bring towards us are more blessings and more things to be grateful for, more joy and harmony, that which we desire in our lives, allowing for unconditional self-love, truly unconditional self-love. And as we do this, it allows us to find unconditional love wherever we go. Because as cheesy as it may sound, if you have unconditional love for yourself, then you take it everywhere you go. So you find it everywhere you go. And we sit in this beautiful ball of blessings. Things that we may dream of. Things that we've had experiences with. You may even see blessings that others have had and feel grateful that they are a reality in the world that you live in. You may have people in your life or animals in your life that you feel are a blessing. Feel that love and that joy. Feel the smiles that they bring to your face, the sparkles that they bring to your eyes, the joy that they bring to your heart. All of this fills your aura field. And this is what you take with you today. This is what you take as you sleep, as you journey through the universe, and your body heals in an environment of blessings and unconditional love. This is what you communicate to every cell in your body, that you are filled with unconditional love, joy, and blessings. You see them everywhere you go. It doesn't mean you're unaware of other things that may be happening, but you choose to look a little more closely at the blessing so that that's what begins to be the majority of what comes into your life. We have no control over other people's free will, but we do control 100% our own. And we do control what we choose to bring into our auric field, which is our energy field, for those of you who are just beginning. And it spans two to three feet around us normally. And this, along with what runs through the core of us, which by now hopefully is feeling very fulfilled and very grateful 
for everything. This is what attracts new things into our lives. So as we bring joy and gratitude, these blessings and unconditional love through the core of our being and allow it to expand throughout our auric field, throughout our physical body, we are healing anything that may be out of balance physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically. Because love and joy and gratitude and blessings bring us back into balance. And they are our responsibility to find and to seek and to enjoy It's up to us where we put our energy. It's up to us what we decide to focus on in any given situation, no matter what it might seem like. And as we focus on more unconditional love and blessings and gratitude from within, we find that we begin to be guided to people and situations that bring us more, which strengthens that within us and then guides us to even more because this is, this is where we are setting the magnetism of our energy. It's our choice. It's up to us. And as we stand upon this planet, this beautiful Mother Earth, that which we bring within our core and that which we allow in our energy field is shared with her and everyone around us. And so unless we are in a place of gratitude, of love, of joy, of healing, and being a part of the solution rather than a part of the problem, we're just that. We're sharing energy that may actually increase the uh, the downfall of joy, the desecration of Mother Earth. Instead, we shift and we bring love and joy and blessings and gratitude, oh my, into our lives. And we sit within this bubble. We sit within this bubble at least once a day, at least 15 minutes a day. And we share this with Mother Earth. And we share this as far and wide as we choose. And as we do so, we become a simple part of the solution. A simple part of the solution. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be this simple. Be with this love for yourself, for Mother Earth, for all those that you find love for in any way, shape, or form. Allow this to fill your soul. Allow this to fill your body, to fill your mind. Allow this now to be amplified by those beautiful light beings that work with us so that your life becomes more joyful and more blessed. Breathing this in. Allowing it to become a part of you. Bringing you back to your truest, most authentic self. For when we are in our own most 
perfect state. These are the qualities that move us. These are the qualities that run through us. Relax. Sit with this for as long as you like. And when you're ready, take some nice deep breaths. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Slowly open your eyes and see the beautiful world around you. And know, my friends, that you are loved. You are loved by me. And you are loved by many.